Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be comparing the two Chanel snap card holders that you see before you, the XL card holder and the regular card holder. In this video, I'll talk numbers, and by that I mean I'll share the dimensions of each card holder, the price point, and the number of cards that each one can accommodate comfortably, in my opinion. I'll also give you a tour of each card holder so that you can get a better idea of what each one looks like. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will have a thorough understanding of both the similarities and the differences between the XL and regular snap card holders offered by Chanel, so that if you've been contemplating one or both of these SLGs, you can decide which one is right for you. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with the measurements. Before I dive into the numbers, I just wanted to let you know that these are the numbers taken by me, meaning I measured each card holder and documented the measurements that I got. These are not the numbers pulled directly from the Chanel website. So for whatever that's worth, I just wanted to put that out there from the beginning. Let's start with the XL card holder. It measures approximately 4.25 inches in length, 3.25 inches in height, 1.25 inches in depth, and retails for $650. The regular card holder measures 4.4 inches in length, 2.8 inches in height, 1 inch in depth, and retails for $550. Both of these card holders are available in a number of colors in any given season, number of different leathers, caviar that you see right here, there's lambskin, calfskin, goatskin. You've got the quilted pattern in both of these card holders. There's also the chevron pattern, which if you saw my video when I did the review on the XL, is the um, arrow style that you will see on some of their pieces, including handbags. I've seen shiny leather, I've seen matte leather. There are a lot of different options out there. So hopefully between all the different possibilities that Chanel offers, you could find one that speaks to you. Taking a quick external tour of both of these card holders together, you will see that there are some differences. First thing, the XL card holder on the left is a little bit taller than the regular card holder. Go to the back, you will see that the XL card holder features this back pocket, the Mona Lisa pocket, which this regular card holder does not. This back pocket here serves a really nice purpose, in my opinion, for putting an ID or any type of card that you want easy access to for whatever reason, you know, instead of having to pop open the card holder, it's something you need quickly. This compartment here is great for that. Put them side by side, and you will see that the XL card holder on the left is a little bit thicker, and you will see why once I pop them open and compare the interiors for you. The XL card holder features two interior compartments plus one slip pocket right here. The regular card holder features one interior compartment and one slip pocket in the front. So compared to the XL card holder, you will see that the XL has double the number of compartments compared to the regular, plus the XL has this back pocket, the Mona Lisa pocket, so double the compartments, a little extra leather on the back to create this lovely Mona Lisa pocket is the reason why the measurements as far as the depth is concerned is a little bit greater on the XL than the regular. As far as capacity is concerned, if you recall from my previous videos, the XL card holder, in my opinion, comfortably holds a total of 16 cards. I could not comfortably close it with a 17th or 18th card and did not want to compromise the structure or integrity of the card holder. So that's how I landed on the number 16. And that will include the card that goes on the exterior here, as well as the card in this slip pocket. So 
Here is the XL card holder packed up with a total of 16 cards, including the one in the slip pocket and the one in the back right here. The distribution of the cards in these two large compartments, I put four and four on these outside walls because typically I find that these outside walls can accommodate a little more in the way of number of cards. And then on these interior walls, I put three and three. So between all those compartments, the XL card holder comfortably holds 16 cards. The regular card holder holds a total of 14 cards comfortably in my opinion. And that includes the one card that you will place here in this outside slip compartment. Since the regular card holder only has one interior compartment, typically what I'll do is divvy up the remaining 13 cards between the two walls that you see right here. And as was the case with the XL card holder, I do find that this outside wall can hold a little more in the way of cards. So I will place the seven that I have on this wall, six on this wall, and then the one out here for a total of 14. And this is what it looks like packed with 14 cards in the regular card holder. And now that I have this one packed with 14, this one packed with 16, in my opinion, packed to the max, I will show you what they look like side by side to give you an idea. The XL card holder, at the end of the day, only holds two more cards compared to the regular, even though it has two interior compartments while the regular only has one compartment. However, because of that extra compartment, even though you can't hold more in the way of cards, I like it because you're better able to keep the cards organized because you have four walls to load your cards up on compared to the two walls of the regular card holder over here. So for example, if you're using the card holder, either one as a mini wallet, the XL card holder enables you to place, for example, credit cards along one wall, your bills on one wall, loyalty cards on a wall, and then maybe miscellaneous cards on a wall or leaving it empty with nothing along that wall, perhaps for receipts that you acquire as you're running errands or you know doing whatever you need to do. With the regular card holder, you only have two walls for that mini wallet organization aspect. So if you're looking for a repurposing of this card holder as a mini wallet, I do love the XL because it affords you that extra organization. But if you're gonna use it as its namesake, a card holder, then obviously this detail regarding organizing your cards kind of goes out the window because if you have business cards you typically have one unless you are someone that has multiple jobs and multiple business cards then again that would be something to consider because with the xl you can keep them organized by different jobs or with different hats that you wear throughout your professional career but if you only have one business card then obviously like i said that kind of rationale with organization goes out the window and the regular card holder will work just fine. Obviously, I like both of them. I own both of them, but I would have to say that if I had to pick one or the other, I do lean a little more toward the XL card holder because of its ability to organize the contents a little bit better compared to the regular card holder. As you know from the earlier video I did on the XL card holder, I love, love, love using it as a mini wallet. With that being said, the regular card holder here also has a special place in my life because if I want my already compact wallet to be even more compact, if I have perhaps a smaller bag that I'm wanting to place it in, this regular card holder swoops right in and serves that purpose really well. And like I said, if you're using this strictly as a business card holder, then this one serves the purpose really, really well because you then don't need the extra compartments and organizational aspect and the regular card holder serves that purpose. That is it for this video. Hopefully I provided you with some solid content and a good visual on the similarities and differences between these card holders. 
And now I'm hoping you have a better understanding and a better grasp on whether or not you would prefer the regular card holder or the XL card holder. Or if you're like me, you'll want both. If you like this video, please do give it that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button that is down below right here on the bottom right. It's in red and white and says subscribe. Also make sure to ding that bell that you see there so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love, love, love to have you guys back here again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.